this is Vijay here and in this video I'm going to show you about a project that I had created recently and this one is about going to be a shopping cart project which I had developed in Java G2E the ID I've been using to work on this is NetBeans so let's get some hands-on experience with this project The user interface that you're seeing, it's been developed using HTML5, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript as well. So I'm going to I'm going to let you know like what's going to be done in another five or seven minutes. First, let's let me start creating. Uh, let me start by creating a user. And after that, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to show you what are the operations that a user can do. And later on, I'm going to log in as an admin, and I'm going to show you the different operations that an admin can perform in this. So let me start by clicking on the register button over here. And the username that I'm going to register for is myself. Yes, and you can see that the registration is done. So let's go on and log in as a user. Uh, this right here, the J shops that you see is the header, and the home, product, services, and contact me are for the navigations. And this right here is the main article, and these two over here, uh, this one is for the news. This is just a prototype or a model that I have created uh, to show in future what what needs to go where. So this one shows you the news of the latest products, and this one it's an optional coupon code that one can enter. And right here below, you can see the copied rights. So this was uh, done in uh, HTML5. Once you click on, uh, once you're logged in, like you'd be seeing a swagatham. This one is, uh, this one is in Sanskrit. This one m means welcome, and that's my name. That's the user's name. Um, and over here we have small logout button. So let me click on. Uh, let so let me first see what are the items in the database. So we have three different products. One is the books, electronics, and ice cream. Let me uh, go ahead and click on books for now. I'm able to see that uh, there are two different books, and I can order any of them. So let me give some random quantities. Here uh, you can see like there are. Four to five different pro uh, four to five different um, values that I had used. One is the picture, little picture over here. This was been uh, coded with JavaScript. Once you click on this picture, you'll be uh, able to see that the picture, like there are like three different pictures in this within this, and this is the name of the book. So in how to cook, like I have added three different pictures, and here is the author name. And here is the description of this product and the price as well. I uh, haven't been working uh, really into the JavaScript part of like uh, customizing all the pictures, but I just thought of for a starter, like let me go with it. And once I had, once I'm satisfied with the quantity, I'll go ahead and click on Add to Cart, and it says the number of items in cart is ten. So let me see. Let me go ahead and click on the ice cream and then see what are the products in ice cream. I'm so hungry right now and I would, I would take a um, strawberry and a chocolate. And once it is added to cart, I'll click on the finish and checkout. So here, these are the products that we have ordered in the previous page. The number of items is four, six, one, and one for the book. And Scarlet Pimpler is one of my favorite books. If you haven't read that, it's a must read, I would say. And let's click on payment. And this is just a formal process. I'll just I'll write some random numbers. Let me keep the expiration date as such. So once you are done with this, you click on submit 
and it says the order has been submitted and look out for a product well i'm not going to get those only and um let me show you the product that we had recently ordered i had got it in uh, xml document let me open it up in notepad plus plus so it's visually it is much better to see so right here these are the details had en entered for the card and and everything right here oh here is an xml i had used a dom parser to uh, write this document in java and i guess like you get this idea so i close ahead close on and i'll show you the number of order items that i had entered So we have um, how to cook. So we have the book how to cook, and the quantity corresponds to four. And the scalp panel is six. We got that, and strawberry is one, and chocolate is one. Seems good. So now let me go back and let me log in as admin, and. I'll show you what are the different options an admin can perform. So in this admin page, uh, we are able to see like this one stands for insertion, updation, deletion, and you can view the products over here. So let me have a quick peek in what are the products available in the database for now. So in books, it's going to be two books that you had seen before. Nothing is pretty much changed because like we haven't either added or inserted into the database. So um, we'll go ahead and add, add something into the database right now. And I like to add a book and make sure the category selected is books. And we'll add a book new, Wings of Fire. And the author of this book is APJ Abdul Kalam. And this book is about the struggles that he has faced and how did he how did he come become as a president of India. So this is gonna be an autobiography. So autobiography. And the price of the book is let me keep it as eight dollars for now. And I'll hit on insert. You could see that the product has been inserted successfully. Let me go and check if the product is actually there in the database. Well, as you can see, the wings of fire that I have entered, it's still there. It's there, I mean. So uh, it has been successfully entered into the database. And in electronics, we have three different products. Um, I'll try to remove the first product, which is Apple. I'll go ahead and click on the delete button over here and select the products to remove. Yeah, so it's going to be electronics as I said before. And we have two different options either you can remove the product by ID or by name. I'll go ahead and remove the product by ID for now. Yeah, and you can see that the deletion is successful. So let me see if the product is actually deleted. As you can see, the first item which was there before isn't, so the deletion worked. And let me go ahead and update something into a database. This one is for update, and like, let's update an ice cream. So let us update this, uh, the first one. Vin uh, it says vanilla, and let's go ahead and do that. screen and yep ID is one and the name I would li like to change it to is vanilla and I'll get it from a blue stone it's delicious I'd say yes. and the price is I'll make it cheap 50 cents okay 50 cents 
the bid is successful so let's go ahead and see let's see as you can see the item id it has point to one it's been updated with vanilla bluestone it's delicious and it's 50 cents so uh this is the shopping cart project that i had developed i would say within like a little over two weeks time and i'll uh i'll mention the different pro uh, different technologies that i had been working on for developing this product thank you so much